Is there anything else in the debug menu? Let me see if there's anything cool I could mention. You know, in the Ratchet 3 one that's available, they have the uh, di the dynamic difficulty tuning menu available. Oh, okay, interesting. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see, for over on Draw, I don't think any of those will work except for text because on the versions like what you have, uh, those usually didn't work. But if you turn text on and you go back into the game, those are the game coordinates for the camera and Ratchet. Uh, are they there? Um, no. Doesn't oh, seem to. darn. I maybe, they... maybe it'll work in Ratchet 3. Maybe, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. But uh, basically, it would display at the bottom of the screen. I think it does work in Ratchet 3. Okay. Uh, basically, the X, Y, and Z coordinates for Ratchet and oh, the camera, cool. so that when testers found a bug, they could say where it happened. Because oh, saying, that's cool. Start at the beginning of the level, run to the right, run to the left, run to the left. You know, that's it gets hard to figure out after a while. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That's really cool. Yeah. I really like so that. It, it's a really neat way of being able to tell, you know, where you are. Mm. That's cool. So anything else in here that you want to see? Uh, see? What is battle cam? Oh, to answer a question of yours, if you want to mess with the ammo, there is a button you can hold down to make it go faster. Oh, what is that button? <laughs> I don't remember, Play, like, uh, you know, have it go up and then... Oh, actually, if I hold R2, it goes up there better. you go. There you go. Yeah, that's how you do it. So you can put your bolts at a tremendous yes! amount. <laughs> this is so much more satisfying. Thank you. <laughs> so now, yeah, that's how you do it, basically. Yay, it gives me 600 at a time. That's worth it. That makes life uh -huh. much better. Oh, we could play with the fog if you want. Uh, so yeah, that'd be cool. That menu to the right that says fog Oops. in green. Uh, yes. Near disc, near int. So near oh, disc. Oh, that's, that's fog. I thought it said pog. <laughs> it's fog, yeah. Uh, near disc is. So basically, it's the distance from Ratchet to where the fog should start. So that's basically means. I think that's half a meter or okay. something. The in near intensity is how intense is it when it starts, right? So how is it? Is it like really wispy and, and transparent? Or is it thick, right? right? And then far distance is, you know. How, how far until you can't see through it anymore, right? And then the intensity. And then color, RGB, that's red, green, and blue color yeah. for the fog. So if you look, if you turn, say, uh, far disk really down, like turn it down to practically nothing, you know, tw 10 or 20. Uh, how do I turn it down? Oh, okay. Uh, nope, that. There appears to be only one way to turn it down, and that's by L1, and it's really slow. Uh, unless there's a... No, that seems to be the only way. Oh, so, that sucks. Oh, no, wait, no, try, holding down triangle does it. Okay, okay, there we go. So, yeah, get it into, like, the 10s. There you go. Okay. Uh, you, don't want it at, you don't want it at 0. 0.5. Okay, there so uh, 12, 15. Let's go 15. So, oh, whoa. Yeah, you see? Oh, it's so, so cool. So, on Aquatos, how we had the water, right. that was just blue fog. Oh, that's cool. So, if yeah. I was to turn up the fog, the blue, really, really high. Would... Yeah, and turn down the green and red. So, turn that down to basically and then, zero. Yeah, turn, turn the far distance down to basically zero, too. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that just crashed the game. <laughs> Did it. Oh, crap. Look at that. Oh, that that's pink and blue. Uh, huh. Huh. Yeah, okay, maybe we shouldn't have put the far distance down to zero. Um... Uh, I should have a save state. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, no, I got it. I got it back. I got it back. Uh, let's put it down to just to twelve again. Oh, there yeah. you go. That that works. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and then if you if you turn the intensity of it up, it will basically all those buildings will just look like blue outlines. How do you turn the intensity up? Uh, far intensity. Turn oh, that okay, up to some gigantic number. Uh, let's make another save state just in case. Something goes wrong here. It's always oh, a good whoa. idea. Yeah, you see? Oh, that's cool. It's like a really so nice silhouette. Oh, so the... actually, is that how they would do silhouette levels in stuff like Donkey Kong Country? Just turn uh, it all to black? I don't think they did it that way in Donkey Kong Country. Because they, well, uh, they do it in the, the newer ones, the Returns and the Tropical Freeze. Oh, okay. Th that is a way to do it, yeah. You just turn the fog up real high like that. Real intense. Oh my god, my mind has been blown. It's not even difficult to do. Remember... Like, Do you remember Tur Turlock Dinosaur Hunter? How how horrible the fog was? Or not Turlock, Turok. Uh, I've not... Um, I've well, seen old, the game, I haven't played it. 
old games used to be super foggy like this because if you turn this fog up, anything more than 12 meters ahead of you, you don't have to draw. Right. So this is amazing. It's more efficient. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna do this with a different yeah. color. <laughs> Try turning on everything else under draw just to see if any of them work, but I don't think they will. Uh, let's put it up all green. Let's see what green looks like. So zero 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 would be black, and all two five fives would be white. <laughs> That's very bright. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's let's say so black. You say so. Uh, yeah, all all zeros would be black. Oh, wow, it's not as dark as I thought it'd be actually. Huh. Uh, so is this how you would make a sort of night effect in some cases? Yes. And they changed the skybox texture to be a night uh, night level. And, it, you know, in Orkson, actually, you can go in and play around with the fog, which might be cool because you know I how green fog Orcs, I don't think Orkson is available. I think it's one oh. of the ones that crashed. I can check. I think it's not. Well, can you think of another level that had a lot of fog or color like that? I'm just thinking through. Um, Aridia, maybe? Iridia, I think Iridia is dark, so you can see a different skybox, but yeah. I don't think it has a lot of fog. Right, um... Let, let me go to, I could go to the ship, I could look through to where's the ship. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's find the ships. The this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Okay, so what... But it's neat because you expose things about sort of how the game was made by playing around with these things and seeing... Like, when you fly in a building and you see that those things were Lego blocked together, that the, makes more um, sense about how it was made. The like chambers that shoot green gas at you, is that done through fog? In... No, that's a particle oh, okay, effect. That's a particle effect. Yeah. Umbris is in Battaglia, I don't think is. Oh, Gaspar. Would Gaspar? Yes. yes, it would totally, I think. Uh, let's save again, just in case it doesn't Christ. load. Um, yeah. I'm unsure if this level works or not. Gaspar. Yeah. Which one was Gaspar? Gaspar was... Um, yeah. It's the orange planet. Yes, okay. You know, uh, uh, one of the other things about the fog, you know how in um, it, in the PS3 version it looks like you can see further? It's because they turn the fog off completely. Oh, there's no music here. Interesting. Uh, also, there doesn't appear to be fog. I thought that was there's a, here. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of red fog. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's turning those buildings kind of reddish to look polluted. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's 225. So if I turn that down... To... Yeah, it'll probably look less polluted. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so it's not coloring everything. But I the skybox is still red, so it still looks red. Yeah. But... That's really cool with that planet, because that's not actually fully there, I guess. Is that because of the fog? The the planet is painted on to the skybox, yeah. which actually wasn't a skybox. It's a giant sphere with a texture on it. Right. And that sphere is sort of always around the camera, and then it draws behind everything else, no matter how close everything else is. So that right. sphere actually isn't very big. Okay, interesting. And uh, see so, that planet, right. so that planet is just painted onto the sky, basically. Right. And so are those clouds. I kind of want to see what's through here. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I, 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 mysteries undiscovered. It's not actually that impressive. It's just over here. But still, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, there's no That's music cool. in this level. At all. Uh, yeah, it might not have been. It might not have been set up yet. Yeah, I mean, it's like um, the uh, Altanis Orbit it has a uh, uh, Navalis, and Altanis has um, Umbris. Oh, these are the water effects. I don't know what causes these, but in um, in the HD version, whenever you shoot the bomb glove, water comes out of it for some reason in this planet. Oh, interesting. But, uh, I don't know where this comes from. That effect. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it seems here, to be coming turn, out the turn... lava. Turn all the updates back on and see what happens to that. Like, uh, uh, turn turn on mobies and parts and uh, probably camera. Okay. So it just sort of appears. Does it? Oh, oh, something's being launched at it. Okay, what's that then? What was launching at it? Yeah, oh, see, it, that, that's oh, how you figure it out. It's basically oh, so it's you're, you're doing right now. You're doing right now what we would do to fix that bug. Right. I, or to try to figure, or what a tester would do to try to figure out what that bug was. Like, this is how testers' jobs are. They find a bug, then they use whatever they can do to figure out how to reproduce it, and they write it up, and then we try to fix it. Yeah. Why is it not doing it anymore? I was trying to find out the source of it, but it seems to have stopped. Uh, I don't know. 
That's mildly disappointing. Um, let's see. I think it's the ship, but I can't tell. It might just be a random, like, meteor, but... Okay, no, there is something falling. I think, yeah, I think it's just, like, debris falling. Oh, falling out of the sky. Yeah, I think and it's these. So it's splash? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's just splashing, but it's splashing water, not orange. I guess it, I guess, it, is it just, um, the water from the valets just painted orange? But they didn't retexture the splash animation. The way the water works is, uh, in every level, we would set a height for it, and then it would get drawn, and then... So basically, water is always the same. You can just change the color. I have screwed up these textures. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This is really cool. I love stuff like this. This looks like a Dalek weapon. Just Oh, it totally does. <laughs> just pointing that out. <laughs> just I feel like... Feel like they're invading the, the new design after Moffat leaves. <laughs> so this is oh, the man. future. Yep, this is the this is dark and dingy and red. This is cool. Um, yeah, I mean, see, I, could I, try, I could try Oxen if uh, see if it works. But I don't. I think I was told that's one of the plants that doesn't load. Okay, yeah. If it doesn't load, it doesn't load. But uh, okay, try you know, it there. But, yeah, maybe maybe you can. Uh, it's just too in Ratchet, you no, know, I think, let's see, uh, is Aquatos before Tyrannosis in Ratchet 3? Yes. So it, I think it works. I think everything between Belden and Tyrannosis works on that build. Okay. That was, it was a multiplayer beta, apparently. Uh, and we had the, begin, the, the first few levels working on it because we were using it for other demo purposes. I thought that was a protopet for a second inside this sphere. Do you see the teeth? <laughs> Yeah, like, they don't exist yet. Yeah, I first I seriously thought it was a proto pet. I was just like, wait a sec, <laughs> that's that's odd. But yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Can you think of anything else that you w uh, are curious about with the debug menu? Um, let's see, what is there? Uh, actuator in Misk. What does that do? Um, I have no idea. Let's find out. Uh, let's put control back to ratchet. Okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. It okay. might be a very special case thing, like it might only do something in one level. Right, I see. Um, uh, add sample, the... add start. Add sample, that's probably a musical thing. What, what, can you change it? Oh, it's on N, so it probably means no, because there's no music playing. Ah, uh, okay, that might be So it, if I yeah. went to a different planet, I wonder if there would be an N and an, an N to turn it off, and... At start. Is it start? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, we, in this game, we did have multiple music tracks per level that it would blend between. We didn't uh, do that. Anymore. Yeah. So that might be for that system. Okay. Uh, now that I think about it. Uh, so uh, segment in mode. Oh yeah. So that's uh. So basically, when you're in, when you're playing Ratchet and Clank, uh, you know how like, from the start of of Metropolis to the left is the the training course, and to the right there's combat. To mm -hmm. Al's Robo Shack, yeah, and then from Al's Robo Shack, there's to the train. Like each of those little bits is a segment. Okay. So, it, what can you change in this uh, under segment? Uh, one three equals two five five. Four equals zero. Five equals. So, if it says zero, that means you haven't beaten the segment yet. If it says two five five, you had. Okay. Right? And all all you have to do to beat a segment is to move through an area where we put a cube that says, "Have you been in this cube yet?" Basically. Ah. Uh, okay, and yeah, once. Once you complete a segment, if you leave the level and come back, the the enemies that are there are different. It's a it's a smaller set of enemies. Oh, interesting. I can change it to NTSC and PAL. Huh. That's yes. Cool. I don't know if it does anything, but you totally can. I will find out. I mean, the frame rate will change. Uh, yeah, the frame Ooh. rate is very red. Look at that. Look at the de the debug console there. Yeah, it, you you guys can't see that, but yeah, it's basically. It tells you everything that the emulator is going through. <laughs> um, actually, it's smoother. Yeah, not that. Is it? It's a little what bit smoother. You, what I changed did you do? It, I changed it to PAL from NTSC because you run in 29.87 oh. frames. We run in 25. You're, uh, uh, it wouldn't look smoother to me for a couple reasons. One, I'm looking at it on th you know, yeah. uh, internet. But the other reason is, uh, to me, PAL doesn't look smooth at all. Yeah, that's true. I'm used to six, since I'm used to 60 hertz. 
Actually, it's interesting. Um, like when uh, stuff like the Big Bang Theory is played over here, um, sometimes it's the NTSC version, and it sounds like they're talking so slow. Um, oh no! It's just really weird. It's like that's not the voice I'm used to. Like I've seen that with stuff like Friends as well. Like I think the Netflix version of Friends is like that's not the voice. That's not their voice. I don't like it. It's, it's Supporting so weird. pal in a video game used to be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> what was oh, that? I have screen small. It's either oh, small or yeah. normal. This is the best. <laughs> this mode will show you what is being what the, like uh, what the engine is deciding <laughs> to call, right? This is cool. <laughs> so it's only drawing those things for optimization purposes. That's so cool. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> it's so trippy. Yeah. I played I played a game recently called Bound. Uh and it it had effects kind of like this throughout, except you know it wasn't designed to be glitchy. But it was, it it was really neat, and it reminds me of this immensely. Oh, it's so cool! I can't I can't tell you how many times I've seen a debug cheat spawn gameplay. Like it happens a lot. People will see something happen, and they'll be like, "That looks really cool. Can we use that? That bug that happened mm -hmm. with your code? Can we make that into a feature?" How many times uh, does that happen to so Ratchet? What? How many times has that happened in Ratchet? In Ratchet? Oh, a lot. Uh, like, uh, man, I, I don't know. It's just, but a lot of times, like, for example, uh, that's the reason we have the base jumping in Ratchet 3 when you right. jump out of the ship. Uh, because our lead designer cheated himself way up into the air and fell down and went, oh, this is kind of fun. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, it was just things like that. Like, uh, one, there was one time, I forget what game I was working on, but there was this bug with uh, the renderer where everything would only show its outlines. Uh, and it looked like you were in a computer universe. Like it was really cool. And we wanted huh. to use it for, uh, we wanted to use it as the renderer for another level. But we basically, there wasn't enough time for them to make sure it, it didn't have bugs so they couldn't do it. Right, I see. But things like that often, like bugs right. often inspire new features. Because the only difference between a bug and a feature is whether or not you want it in the game. <laughs> 